Hello, my dear friend. Um, it's me, Tasha Trent, again. Yeah. And today I'm in Solnichnogorsk city. You know where is it? It's Moscow region, about 50 kilometers from Moscow. And here I am in at Youth Educational Forum, the territory of census. Yeah. And right now there are 350 participants who connected with the media. And here I am like a blogger. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm in shock too. Now we had five days here and today the last day we had a lot of speakers, uh, blogger, journalist, uh, press secretary of president. I didn't um, take videos. We had a lot of activities and I didn't have time to take uh, videos. times and about two couple days in Moscow but I really like this uh, city I hope we will not get lost together and I hope you will enjoy this new trip with me Moscow is the capital of Russia, a city of federal significance. The largest city in Russia by population and its subject, 13 million people. The most populous of the cities located entirely in Europe. Ranks 22nd among the cities of the world in terms of population the largest Russian-speaking city in the world, the largest city in Europe by area. The first written mention of Moscow dates back to 1147. The history of the city is at least 876 years old. Archaeological evidence indicates the existence of an urban settlement in the area of the future Kremlin since the 11th century. Moscow is the historical capital of the Grand Duchy of Moscow, the Russian Kingdom, the Russian Empire, Soviet Russia and the USSR. It is located in the west of Russia on the Moskva River in the center of the East European plain between the Oka and Volga rivers. The name of the city comes from the name of the river. I stayed for one night at the capsule hotel, City Garden Hotel Taganska.
Moscow is a popular tourist center of Russia. There are thousands of monuments of history and architecture in Moscow that deserve the closest attention. The Kremlin, Red Square, Novodevichy Convent and Church of the Ascension in Kolominska are included in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. I think people from other region can get lost in Moscow because there is a high pace in the city a lot of cars in motion everywhere a lot of people a lot of noise so but anyway it's very interesting but first of all i decided to go to the critical gallery it was my dream to visit this uh, museum i never have been i have never been there and i really want to the Tretikov Gallery was founded in 1856 by the merchant and philanthropist Tretikov. In 1892, together with a collection of 2000 works of art, the gallery was transferred to the ownership of the city. After the revolution, the exposition was supplemented by confiscated private collections. Now, the collection of the new Tretikov Gallery, united with the State Art Gallery, includes almost 200,000 items, including works by famous artists, unique jewelry and sculptures. The expositions are located in an old building, which is an object of cultural heritage. The history of the most famous square in Russia began in 1493, when a strip 240 meters wide was cleared under the walls of the Kremlin to increase the trading space. Initially, it was called Pozhar or Beginning, then Troitska, since the Trinity Church stood in its southern part. Red Square became after the construction of St. Basil's Cathedral. The modern look began to take shape in the second half of the 19th century, with the advent of large-scale structures. The middle and upper trading rows, the building of the historical museum. The square gained serious ideological weight after the revolution. St. Basil's Cathedral is the most and recognizable temple in Russia, was built and consecrated in 1561. The cathedral complex includes 11 chapels which are grouped around the main church of the Intercession of the Virgin. The Intercession Church was erected in memory of the annexation of Kazan. Since the decisive battle with the Hans army took place on the day of the Intercession of the Virgin. The rest of the churches were also named after the holidays, during which important battles took place. St. Basil's Cathedral is a branch of the historical museum. The object is under the protection of UNESCO and included in the World Heritage List.
Zaradi Park is the new public space created by a joint project of American and Russian urbanists in 2017. Became the only object in Russia included in the list of the best places for recreation by Time magazine. In addition to organized natural areas, Zaradia has a large Philharmonic Hall with almost 2,000 seats, a hotel complex, a floating observation deck, an ice cave, well-maintained bike paths, numerous cafes and souvenir shops. According to UN experts, in 2022 Moscow became the best metropolis in the world in terms of quality of life and infrastructure development. To see and enjoy the beauties of Moscow, you need to come for at least a week. I hope that next time I can show you a little more sights and interesting places to visit.